Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to show you how you can pin corner in DaVinci Resolve 17 directly from the edit page. Let's check it out. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com. Alright, so we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 right now and I'm going to show you how to pin corner directly from the edit page. Before you were able to do it in the Fusion page, but now with DaVinci Resolve 17 update, you can do it directly from the edit page. We're going to try to basically pin corner and put it in those frame, this video clip and this picture. For the picture, it's going to be pretty easy because I think the aspect ratio is pretty much the same, but we're going to have a tiny bit more troubles with this one because the aspect ratio is not the same. So we will have to play a bit with the cropping and it's going to be interesting to play with the pin corner directly in the edit page. Uh, there is no tracking needed for this one because it's a static shot. But if you need to do some tracking, I will recommend you to um, go over to the Fusion page where it's going to be easier to manage the keyframing or to play with uh, the tracker there. Uh, that being said, let's jump in right into it right now. And we're going to go over to the FX library. I'm going to start with overlaying uh, this picture. So I'm going to put the picture on top of my footage. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the transform effect. And I'm going to bring that over to my picture, put that on top of it. And here, make sure that you have selected open effects overlay. So you actually see what you're doing uh, because they are open effects. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to effect. And here, instead of slider, we're going to go with pins. And what is uh, hello us to do is basically to go on each corner and adjust that. So to be really precise, I'm going to zoom in. Now let's do it roughly for, um, for the time being. Um, so I'm going to just put one corner there, the other one right there. And as you can see, super, super easy, super quick. Um, and I'm pretty good. Now I'm going to zoom in to make sure that we get everything on point. As you can see, that wasn't the case here. So let's just try to take that and make it look really good. Let's take the other corner, same thing here. Let's go over to this one, make sure that it's in the right place. Same thing here, in the right place. And now I should be good. I think let's remove the effect. Let's just adjust this one. And here we go. Um, maybe just a tiny bit for this one too. And here we go, I think we're good now. Yes, perfect. It's fitting the frame perfectly. It's pretty good. nice, pretty good. It's working. Let's go back and make everything fit. And here we go. We got, I'm gonna extend it so it fits the entire duration. And we got the picture that is now in the frame properly without trouble. That wasn't so hard. That wasn't like, you know, complicated. And we probably could have done it just with the scaling because uh, aspect ratio is pretty much the same. Now we're going to try with a video clip. Uh, it's going to be a tiny more complicated because there is a ratio um, that is a 16 by 9 and not a 4 by 5. So it's not going to be uh, as easy. But it's just to show you now you're able to individually pin the corner and, you know, for this one, it's easy because there is a flat wall. But what if you want to basically incline your pins and have, you know, tiny, a tiny bit of uh, 3D aspect to it? Here we go. You know, you weren't able to do those kind of things before. That was way harder to do it. You had to go over to Fusion. Um, but now with Pin Corner, you can just you can also have Canva. Uh, which is a really, really nice way to see a bit more about your distortion when you start to get uh, into those kind of positioning. Uh, it really gives you, okay, how does the line are affected? Um, and it, it just gives you a lot of option in how you can modify and transform your text that you didn't add in the past. Uh, that being said, let's move over to the clip right now. So I'm bringing that back to normal. And now for this clip, what I'm going to do first off is I want only the guy. So I'm going to crop in a little bit. I'm going to go over to video and here I'm going to crop left and I'm going to crop right. So it's going to give me a more, a closer um, to the aspect ratio that I want to uh, get towards. So let's bring that over my clip again. And here 
we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. I already have the effect apply, but if you don't, just go there, take transform, bring in over to your clip. And here, as you can see, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go to Canva. Actually for this one, yeah, I'm gonna do Canva, not pins. So I will see a bit more distortion because that's not gonna be as easy because the corner of my image not gonna actually be in the corner, but gonna be, you know, um, a bit on the side. So that being said, let's try it. We're gonna go over there. I'm gonna try to get as close to it as possible. All right, make the frame a bit smaller. Okay. All right, let's try. It's gonna, I, have, I will have to play a tiny bit with it. It's not gonna be as easy as the first one, but we're gonna get there really quickly, I think. Here we go, and I think we're almost there. Perfect. Let's zoom in a little bit so we see a bit more what we're doing. So let's zoom in. So now that we're in, we can see a bit more what we're doing. Let's adjust that properly. Let's remove the effects. Okay, here there is a tiny bit of adjustment that needs to be made down there. All right, up there too. And I think now we're good. Let's check if all the edges are clean. All the edges seems to be clean. And here we go. We got pretty much the same effect and it's in the frame. It's working good. Perfect. Awesome. So here you go. That's how to corner pin in DaVinci Resolve 17 directly from the edit page uh, without tracking. If you don't need tracking, if you need tracking, again, go over to the Fusion page. That's what I would recommend you. Uh, but it's not only good to do that kind of thing to just, you know, uh, make something fit a frame, but it's also really helpful as I said, to adjust an image as you want um, with the accuracy that you're looking for. I hope that was useful. Let me know what kind of video you would like to see in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Improve your video and speed up your workflow by using easy to use drag and drop templates made specifically for DaVinci Resolve. Check it out on our website, videoeditorstudio.com.